regular people and archaeologists make discoveries every day. Sometimes in an old house, or while digging a foundation, or even making home repairs, you could find some strange, notable things. Bizarre discoveries have been made in the most unexpected places. From roads in the middle of nowhere that lead to nothing, to alien lights that can be seen from miles away, and from cursed tombs with strange writings to finding Noah's Ark. Our video today explores some of the weirdest discoveries that have puzzled archaeologists and scientists. Number 10. A Road in the Middle of Nowhere – The Petrobras Viaduct The Petrobras Viaduct is a road that runs deep into a Brazilian forest. The 300-meter-long road is hidden in plain sight in the middle of the forest in São Sebastino, in the eastern part of Brazil's southern state of Sao Paulo. The Petrobras Viaduct was supposed to be part of the Rio Santos Trans Coast Highway. The Brazilian government built the viaduct to provide a passage through the jungle. Construction began in 1970 and was completed in 1976. However, there were numerous difficulties encountered while building the highway. Due to the project's high cost, the highway was built along the coast instead of the river. The original plan was scrapped. Today, the Petrobras Viaduct is a popular tourist attraction, best known for bungee jumping. Talk about looking for copper and finding gold! Number 9. Stone Spheres in Costa Rica The Diqui Delta and Isla de Cano in southern Costa Rica is known to be home to massive stone spheres known as Las Bolas, which translates to the balls. Palmar Sur is the name of the location where these stones can be found. There are over 300 of these Costa Rican petrospheres, with heights ranging from a few centimeters to more than two meters. Their origins are still unknown. They are thought to have been carved by the Chibchan people's pre-Columbian civilization and are mostly made of a rock called gabbro. A few dozen have been found to be made of limestone and sandstone. Scientists believe that these stones were formed into their perfectly spherical shape by the use of smaller stones. Some natives believe that the spheres were used by the Chipchan people for astronomical purposes in the past, because they are thought to represent solar systems or various stages of the sun. In contrast, others believe they were used to point the way to significant places such as chiefs' houses. What do you think these spheres were for? Number 8. Alien Lights If I told you that alien lights were spotted, you'd probably think it was a hoax. Still, according to a report published in the American Journal of Modern Physics in 2016, they made a startling discovery while using a newly developed telescope for the first time. They discovered some extraterrestrial entities in the environment, right here in the United States. These pink dotted lights were invisible to the human eye, but the Galileo telescope with a convex lens could see them. The entities were said to move intelligently, implying some kind of surveillance of the area. The lights were seen at night over Tampa Bay, Florida. The scientist behind this, Dr. Santilli, discovered the first known evidence of an apparent existence in our universe. The new telescope can also see antimatter galaxies, antimatter asteroids, and antimatter cosmic rays. But the most amazing discovery was these strange lights in the sky. Santilli's colleagues independently verified these, and they are now on an official list of Invisible Terrestrial Entities, or ITES. I wonder why the aliens chose Florida? Number 7. The Nazca Lines Located in Peru, the Nazca Lines are one of the world's greatest mysteries. They were first spotted by a commercial aircraft in the 1920s and 1930s. Now, thanks to modern satellite imagery, we can get an even better picture of these lines. There are hundreds of these enormous lines. The geometric lines depict animals, plants, and figures, and were created over 2,000 years ago by people of the pre-Incan Nazca culture. They did this by removing the red surface pebbles to reveal the lighter earth beneath, which resulted in many designs that could only be seen from above. The question is how they could coordinate this without seeing it from above, which has led to many theories about aliens making these. Experts believe the lines were likely a ritual communication between the Nazca and their gods. 
but how could they orchestrate such massive sequences from the ground? Perhaps they truly had assistance from something above. Number 6. Woman in the Witch Elm On the 18th of April, 1943, four local boys were playing in the woods when they came across a large elm tree. They thought it would be a good place to hunt birds' nests, so they tried to climb inside the tree. As they climbed, they discovered a hollowed-out trunk and a skull. The boys thought it was an animal, but when they saw human hair and teeth, the boys reported it to the police, and the tree was cut down. Inside, they discovered a complete skeleton with a shoe, a gold wedding ring, and clothing. Forensics determined a female had been in there for 18 months. Unfortunately, there were no records to determine who this woman was. Dentists from all over the country were contacted to try and do some more forensics, but unfortunately, they never found out who this was. Until a mysterious graffiti message in 1944. The graffiti on the street closest to the Witch Elm wrote, quote, Who put Bella down the Witch Elm? Leading investigators to trace who Bella could have been. The graffiti message was washed away, but it keeps coming back repeatedly. To this day, if you go to Worcestershire, you can see a graffiti saying, Who put Bella in the Witch Elm? Number 5. Barents Sea Craters In March of 2016, some Norwegian scientists made an incredible discovery. They linked giant craters discovered in the Barents Sea to the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is the most dangerous area of water globally, with thousands of planes, ships, and boats going missing in the area. There have been many theories about the Bermuda Triangle over the years, but no one really knows why everything that comes close to it goes missing. But these Norwegian scientists have a pretty good idea. They say the giant craters in the Barents Sea could have been created by exploding natural gas. They also claim that this could be dangerous for vehicles in the area, because exploding gas could cause massive waves that can tip ships and knock planes out of the sky. Igor Yelsorf, a Russian scientist, also confirmed this theory. He suspects that the secret of the Bermuda Triangle is methane gas. There's likely a lot of methane gas underwater in the Bermuda Triangle, which causes explosions, which is likely why so many ships and aircraft go missing in the area. Why do you think ships go missing in the Bermuda Triangle? Let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Noah's Ark some things are so good that you want to rediscover them again. One example is Noah's Ark. The biblical boat has been discovered numerous times by numerous people, or has it? For centuries, amateur archaeologists from all over the world have claimed to have discovered evidence of the Ark on Mount Ararat in Turkey. However, some researchers are skeptical that Noah's massive Ark was ever built. Noah's Ark, like Atlantis, is an archaeological mystery that will be solved again and again, even if it does not exist. Do you think the Ark exists? Number 3. Shroud of Turin Perhaps no archaeological discovery has sparked more debate than the Shroud of Turin's enigma, which many believe to be the Shroud of Jesus Christ. This long piece of twill cloth is stained with blood and bears the darkened imprint of a man's body. The Catholic Church first mentioned the shroud in A.D. 1353, when it was discovered in a church in Lyrie, France. The legend of the shroud, on the other hand, dates back to A.D. 30 or 33. The shroud was said to have been transported from Judea to Edessa, Turkey, and then to Constantinople. When Crusaders raided Constantinople in A.D. 1204, the cloth was allegedly taken to Athens, Greece, and held there until A.D. 1225. It wasn't until the 1980s that researchers obtained the cloth to use radiocarbon dating to determine its actual age. They discovered that the alleged burial cloth of Jesus was made between the years of A.D. 2060 and A.D. 1390. Some believe the cloth was most likely a forgery from the Middle Ages. However, some critics of this study argue that the scientists may have dated newer parts of the shroud that were sewn together centuries after Jesus' death, explaining why it appears newer than it is. What do you think? Could this be the cloth of the Messiah? Number 2. King Tut's Death Few archaeological mysteries elicit as much interest as this one, the enigmatic mummy of Egyptian boy pharaoh Tutankhamun. 
King Tut's tomb was discovered by British Egyptologist Howard Carter in 1922, and stories of a curse that kills anyone who comes near the tomb have circulated. However, the true mysteries of King Tut's tomb are far more intriguing than any curse. Archaeologists believe the boy king died unexpectedly, possibly due to an infection or injuries sustained in a chariot accident. His untimely death may help to explain why his mummy was discovered in such a strange state. After his body was mummified, King Tut appears to have caught fire. Experts who study the mummy believe that King Tut's linen wrappings contained flammable embalming oils, which reacted with oxygen in the air to ignite the king's corpse, cooking it at around 200 degrees Celsius. The botched embalming job that led to the fire was most likely the result of a hurried burial. However, King Tut's hasty burial raises another mystery. It's possible that King Tut's tomb was originally built for someone else, and that there are other undiscovered mummies buried in the same tomb. What do you think happened to King Tut? Number 1. Disappearance of the Song Ching Dui A seasoned archaeologist does not make every perplexing archaeological discovery. For example, a man working on a sewage ditch in China's Sichuan province discovered a treasure trove of jade and stone artifacts in 1929. Private collectors acquired these treasures, and archaeologists working in the area found two more pits full of Bronze Age treasures like jade, elephant tusks, and bronze sculptures in 1986. But who created these enigmas? Researchers now believe that the artifacts were made by members of the Sang Xing Dui civilization, who perished nearly 3,000 years ago. Archaeologists have discovered that the Sang Qing Dui once lived in a walled city on the banks of the Mingjiang River. But why they left this city and buried many artifacts in pits before fleeing is a topic of much debate among researchers. Talk about looking for copper and finding gold! And if you enjoyed this video, we have another like it right here of the world's scariest archaeological discoveries ever found. I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it as well.